Hey everyone, this is Richard, CEO of Altfins. In this trading video, I'll do a technical analysis of Dodge, D-O-G-E, the original meme coin that appears to be underperforming the rest of the meme category, or at least some of the bigger cap meme uh, plays. And, um, and I'm going to look at uh, the scenario where I would get involved, what needs to happen uh, for me to consider getting or going long or buying it. So here we are on Altfin's crypto screener. Uh, first of all, uh, if you want to find um, a broader list of memes, you can go under the uh, signals and filters under the category and find all sorts of categories, DeFi, um, DEXs, you know, AI, so on. And, and you get political memes, pre-sale memes. And if I select these memes here, you know, then I get about 40 of them. You know, we're not going to have all of them. There's a lot of them out there, but I've got 40 of them. I can also place them on my watch list. For example, if I wanted to add this one on my watch list. So watch lists are here. Uh, you can create watch lists and add coins to them, um, either on the watch list section or here. For example, I'll add this one to my watch list, Bone as well. Okay, um, and then if I open up a new screener tab, I can then filter my results just for the memes. So now I've got these memes. There are the larger cap memes here. Now let's look at the uh, performance. Now Dodge is still the largest cap meme out there. Um, let's look at the one week, week performance up 11%. Better than Shiba but underperforming Pepe, underperforming forming Floki, Bone, Whiff, right? So it's kind of in the middle of the range, uh, underperforming some, some of them or outperforming others. But if we look at the trend uh, so Altfin's system um, has a trend rating for short-term, medium, and long-term trend. As you can see, Dodge is still sort of neutral on the short-term basis, but still down on the medium and long-term basis. While some of the other memes have already uh, turned the corner and inflected to an up uptrend, like Pepe, Bonk is clearly in an uptrend that's done really well. Flocky is starting to uh, inflect as well as a few others. Um, so now let's go ahead and take a look at the chart. And before I do that, actually, let's take a look if there's any um, AI patterns here that have been identified. Okay, interesting. According to the AI pattern, there's been a bullish breakout from channel down which appears to almost have uh, reached that target price. Okay, that's always good to uh, check. But let's, uh, let's check our techni technical, technical analysis here. Now, you can either use this original chart, uh, but many of you prefer trading view. Also, you have the, the trend ratings up here, by the way, um, as well. And any news you want to uh, catch up on is under the news tab. But let's go ahead and go to the trading view chart. And uh, by the way, you know, if you make any notes or any um, lines or other analyses in your chart, you can also save it. For example, let's go ahead and make this a bit bigger. In fact, let's blow it up. And let's just say I'm going to identify the support and resistance okay support i think it's clearly around around here right prior prior resistance appears to have worked or turned into support right resistance from december 2023 right that's where it got rejected and then broken above that and, and just was off of uh, you know flying after that now we've retraced that big move and have, are back to that about 10 10 and a half cents is where the support is and remember based on the polarity principle 
we teach this principle as well as support and resistance in lesson two and three. Um, based on the polarity principle, when once a resistance gets broken, it becomes support and vice versa. When support gets broken by price, then it becomes resistance. So clearly this is our support. Resistance, where are, is our nearest resistance? Um, we can see that the price has gotten rejected here and it looks like even now the price is getting rejected at this level. That's about uh, it's about 12.6, I believe, 12.5, 12.6. So my resistance is right here, which surprise, surprise, jives, oops, with my prior support. Let's move it down just slightly a bit here. Okay, look, this level acted as support in March of 2024, here in April, here in May. Yeah, sure, it got pierced a little bit intraday, but for the most part, it acted as support. Once it got broken, now it became resistance. And the other thing you have here, coincidentally, is the 200-day moving average. Let's, have, let's make that bigger, uh, easier to see. Okay, boom. Now we can see it. 200-day moving average also acting as resistance here. Now, what I was saying before, if you do make some chart annotations and drawings, you can save this now, okay? Um, you can give it a name. I can rename it Dodge New. Save it, okay? And you can basically replace your trading view with these charts right here. If I go back, this chart will pull up. And, um, you know, I can go back to some other ones. Load layout. Okay, my prior dodge chart is here as well, but we want a new one here. All right, so those were my support and resistance. Now, what you may not see here, but we have identified it under the technical analysis section, is that there is actually a falling wedge pattern here that has been developing really since the peak or re recent um, uh, peak market peak in April right and since then the price has been sort of making lower highs and lower lows which is a sign of downtrend it broke below the 200 day moving average which is another sign of downtrend so but the falling wedge is so sort of starting to close in and the price is right at that level where three things line up. One is the falling wedge resistance trend line, this blue line down here. Second one is the 200 day moving average also acting as resistance. And the last one is what I identified earlier is the horizontal resistance at 0.126 12.6 cents all right so this is a stiff resistance zone it's likely to get rejected and pull back and take another shot at breaking out is my guess um, it's not overbought if you look at rsi at 55 that's okay that's uh, overbought would be if it was at 70 or higher so there's still some gas le left in the tank on this recent upswing um, but this is a stiff resistance which is that more that much more important if the price does break through that it could fly that would be a break out of the falling wedge pattern an indication of potential uh, trend reversal from downtrend to uptrend it would also break above the 200 day moving average, which is also another signal of an uptrend starting. So Dodge is at a very critical level right now. My guess is that it's gonna get rejected on this first approach, pull back some, and then make another shot at it and break out. 
I will be a buyer if the price pulls back to this 10 cent or 10 and a half, 10 cents support zone right here. I would be buying it here uh, with the the assumption that will it will swing back up. But the better entry is really is waiting for the the breakout. So uh, if it breaks above uh, this level, which is about 13 cents, right? I can also place an alert here that says if the price is above 13 cents, uh, send me an alert. And I'll make a note here that says breakout from falling wedge above 200 day moving average and resistance distance likely bullish trend reversal uh, my target would be the next resistance zone which is I believe if I look at back here I believe the next resistance zone is at 17 cents so target of 17 cents where would I place my stop loss very important for risk management we teach risk management techniques in lesson 9 I believe or lesson 10 9 I, I, I think it's lesson 9 that's right um, I encourage you to go through all, all of our lessons right now uh, 10 lessons that teach you seven trading techniques or trading strategies um, teaches you risk management principles uh, very important to stay in the market to help you stay in the market um, teaches you short selling leverage trading margin trading and currently actually uh, the education course has been unlocked until end of July but uh, where would I place the stop loss well typically it's placed below the prior swing low the prior swing low was here that's pretty far even here at 10 cents it's kind of far that would be that would be you know well about 15 percent downside from the current levels almost 20 percent downside so if i think that the price breaks about 13 cents and the upside is to 17 cents that's about four cents um i would take half of that so about 11 cents is where i would be placing my stop loss that way i have four cents upside and two cents downside two cent risk and that gives me a two to one reward to risk ratio i can gain four cents and i can lose two cents if i'm wrong so that's four to two is basically two to one ratio i hope that makes sense again we explained this in the risk management section of our or lesson of our trading education course in any case so in my alert i'm gonna say stop loss level at 11 cents okay set alert okay when the price breaks about 13 cents i'm going to receive an alert in my alerts management section as well as on my mobile app if you haven't downloaded our mobile app go ahead and do that uh, you will receive alerts on your mobile app as well and in your email box so that's the technical analysis and my trading plan uh, for dodge I hope this has been helpful. If you have any questions, please email us at invest at alphines.com. And keep in mind that this video was made for informational purposes only, not meant to be financial advice. And please do your own research. Good luck trading.